Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class C motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. I got one that's been really hard to get. Of course, any motorhome right now is hard to get used, but and that's a shorty. Well, we got one today, guys, and it's a uh, really, really nice one. Today, we're going to review a 2015 Thor Freedom Elite. This is their smallest one they build. It's the 22E. 23 feet 11 inches bumper to bumper at its longest point um, got a 4kw on and generator running right now this unit's only got 35,000 miles and a hundred and right around 160 hours on the generator been used very very little and it shows guys easy size to drive and park you know a lot of these class b vans i've been shooting lately 21 and a half 22 feet long well this one's just not even a not even two two feet longer and man it will it, it it's nice a lot of space in it a lot of interior space you can see the striping the finish looks great uh got some great tires on it i'll try to drive it at the end of the video guys if if i uh um one of my salespeople got time to go with me Whoa, well, life there you go got a power awning got a nice storage compartment for a small rv let me tell you something guys there's a lot to be said about having a simple motor home and, that, and that's something i've relearned recently with my own experience because i went from a 38 foot winnebago class a with multiple slides and jacks and all this stuff which was nice but it was also a could be a headache when they don't work and you have to fix it Something's to be said. I went to one this size. Mine's maybe a foot longer than this with no slides, no jacks. and I, I like it. You just park. Easy to park, easy to drive, and, and you pretty much just pull in somewhere and you're camping. You know, if you've got shore power, plug it up. If you're boondock camping, just let your generator run. You don't have to worry about jacks. You don't have to worry about slide outs. Just easy, easy, and simple. And yeah, I know this thing may not have the amenities a lot of the bigger and higher priced ones have, but at the end of the day, guys, who cares? Um, I mean, it, it does what it's supposed to do, and that's to let you camp in comfort. Uh, let's look inside. Hang on one second. Sorry about that, guys. Had to had one of my salespeople had to uh, get some information real quick clean no smoke no pet odors very good low miles low generator hours not been lived in and um, wow i got generator running air conditioner on front and roof air are both ice cold Thirty-five thousand seven hundred eighty-three miles um no check engine lights you know what another cool feature let me cut this radio down a little bit radio works by the way i had a led zeppelin nothing wrong with that uh what's cool about and literally cool is you know you don't have to run your generator much in these small motorhomes when you're traveling uh, because the dash air will keep you your passenger and if you've got somebody sitting at the table booth fairly well comfortable without running the roof air and the um, generator got power windows seats look like 35,000 mile seats should look like just a neat van or neat motor home you want to call it a van uh, dash air is is really cold considering it's 90 plus degrees outside we're sitting out here with no shade and the motor's just idling it'll actually get colder as we go down the road I mean, we're blowing 40s, dropping. Wow. Um, good cold air. Um, Set this radio's got. I've been trying to get out here all day to do a video, so I haven't really had a lot of prep time on this one. I apologize. Let's see, let's see what this thing's got. It's like it's Bluetooth. Um, 
you can hook up your phone CD player all that good stuff nice there's your remote controls plastics look good as far as like the cup holders and all that good stuff got a full-size bed up top got a TV that swivels out so you can see it from the back bed or from the table actually got a bigger table booth than most this makes it, it's only 40 inches wide but it's actually like 68 inches long so this is something you can adult can sleep on or two it depends on the size so full bed down here full bed up top and then you actually got a queen bed in the back um, countertops look good generator running um, 154.8 hours got the water system on So I've already checked the water system and the water heater, which I haven't got hot yet. Um, let's see, it's blowing 84. We'll give it a few minutes. We'll check that again. Um, I just turned it on right before I shot the video. And I'm just showing you this because I'm trying to encourage y'all to take it as is because there's really nothing to check out on it. Um, stove top, three burner stove top. Doesn't look like it's been used oven looks good microwave I had the fridge on hour and a half and I can tell it's working uh, very well negative 19 degrees in the freezer now the refrigerator probably not yet it takes these things a few more hours to cool off uh, actually you can see 63 so it's dropping you got one little step up here because of that extra outside storage. And um, got a closet. Got a stationary queen bed. Looks like they've ripped the screen a little bit. So, you know, if we'll fix that if you buy it with the full inspection. If you take it as is, you might have to spend 30 minutes rescreening that. No big deal. Or leave it like it is. You got a privacy curtain right here so you can separate the bed from the rest of the RV. You've got some overhead storage, decent storage for a small motor home, books and manuals. Um, that's a privacy curtain right here for your uh, windshield for when you park at night. Closet, you got a furnace, which I can't imagine needing that right now, but um, look at that guys, a couple of free hangers. Uh, show you the air real quick. Coleman mock air, which is a good one. Good airflow, and you don't really need ducted air with one this small. Considering that other side of this roof is probably 100 degrees on that roof, and it's blowing out 40s, upper 30s, that's good air. Rear corner bathroom, you've got a, of course, your RV toilet. That plastic nope that's a china RV toilet stand-up shower and you can see it's not been outside much because the plastics haven't started to bleach out yellow yet still nice bright white and um, like I said not a huge bathroom but considering the size of the RV it's actually pretty roomy And it will sleep five to six, depends on the size of the people staying in the camper. Got a crank up TV antenna over there. Um, water heater. Wow. Um, and I know guys, yeah, there's not, it doesn't have leather furniture. It doesn't have Corian countertops. But guys, for a 15 model, especially right now in the current market, these things are hard to find. You can't buy them new right now. Um, I've got a 54.9 with a full checkout four pages long and, and look in the video description below if you want to see the um if you want to see everything that we're going to inspect and guarantee to work for the price you pay of course keep in mind guys one like this we're on a 30 to 45 day turnaround uh once you buy it for it to finish going through service just because we got 40 something units in front of you that have already bought before you did so expect a 30 to 45 day delay and i understand if you don't want to wait that long that's why I've got everything working for you. 
Now I'm not an RV tech, but I've got the water heater getting hot, refrigerator obviously cold, air conditioner's cold, lights work, there's no slide, no jacks to worry about. There's really not much more to check out. I've checked the water system. Um, it works. I mean, I pretty much check everything but the awning and the furnace. So, guys, if you want to buy one as is, we'll give you a discount off that already low 54 dollars price. And you can take it home the same day you pay for it and do your own inspection on it, guys. You can come down here, crank a generator up, or we'll hook it into shore power. It's got water in the tanks already. Um, and do your own inspection, and you don't have to wait. And you get a discount off that already low price. So it's a win-win for everybody involved. You know, it saves my guy. It, it takes some relief off my shop help and my techs and um and i went ahead and just took a little extra time guys just flipped everything on for you we're going to test drive it and so you can see how it runs and drives so it should be a pretty simple decision to make um if you're worried about something not working and um if you want an option b as is price you know the 54.9 is the full checkout with the 90 day easy care nationwide limited warranty um which I cannot do a warranty on an as-is unit, and unfortunately the warranty company requires me to do a checkout on it. So, but guys, here's the thing. I mean, <laughs> if everything works now, what are the chances of something breaking in 90 days? It's it, it, There's always a chance, of course, but not likely. So we're gonna drive it here in a little bit, and you can be your own decision. You, you can make your own mind up which way you wanna go. Come out, look at it, come test drive it. Um, if, the, if you're looking for a small motor home, you'll buy this one quick. Got 11 foot tall height clearance, I believe. Uh, but anyway, guys, let me check the water heater. I know it's probably not going to be much warmer, but you never know. These propane water heaters, 85 degrees, 86. Yeah, it, it works, guys. You can see it rising. Look at that. And it, this water will get well over it get up to about 120 degrees once this water heater's been on for about another 10 15 minutes so water work system works water heater works refrigerator which it's going to take it a few more hours but it obviously works air conditioner's cold front air is cold no check engine lights runs and drives got good tires wow 54.9 financing's available with approved credit and down payment if you're interested in checking into that uh, give us a call and your salespeople, your salesperson will give you the up-to-minute information on financing. Uh, like again, with approved credit and down payment through a variety of nationwide lenders that we're set up with. But guys, we do it with no dealer interest rate markup. Other dealerships, guys, make thousands of dollars on you on financing alone. That you overpay by thousands of dollars because they're dealing directly with the bank. You just fill a credit app out. They take it from there. You have no control over the deal. You have no idea what the actual interest rate they're getting you approved. All you know is what the dealer's telling you. So chances are, if you're financing it through a dealership's finance department, they're marking that interest rate up one or two points. And over a long-term RV loan, an extra $15, $20 a month in interest, that's thousands of dollars you're overpaying for RV financing. Plus they try to upsell you everything, extended warranties, gap insurance. Uh, exterior and interior protection packages this 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 and this and all that stuff's marked up four or five times over dealer cost rolled into the RV loan with a marked up interest rate because the banks let the dealers keep the money or most of the money on the interest rate markup and it should be illegal but it's not um, guys here we offer financing as a courtesy uh, if you decide to take the option A price and you want an extended warranty, we do offer it. Guys, we'll give you a price on it. It has a $200 dealer markup. That just so my covers the extra paperwork and it gives my finance manager a little something extra since he doesn't make money on financing. Um, and guys, we don't have any extra fees. You know, you go to these other RV dealerships, they're going to advertise a certain price, but I rest assured the out the door price is a lot higher than what they're advertising here 54 9 plus applicable sales tax if you are a georgia resident we do charge a hundred dollar highway impact fee for georgia residents only and a 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee depending on your county for georgia residents only out of state residents you don't pay anything extra besides applicable sales tax so 
rest assured that the 54.9 is the actual price you're paying plus the sales tax. And if you want to know a quote on that, give us a call. And you can rest assured, guys, it doesn't matter how you pay for it. You can finance it and pay cash, trade, combination of the three. That is the price. Um, so anyway, guys, easy, simple, and done is our unofficial motto. It's a haggle-free firm price, and we will give you a discount for an option B price, which honestly, guys, is just going to be giving you extra money because I don't think you could spend a dime on this thing in repairs. This has been very, very well cared for in very nice condition. It's got one or two little scratches and stuff on it, but you know, for a six year old motor home, it's in extremely fine condition. Um, anyway, guys, for something you think you're interested in, give us a call. If you need delivery service, we offer nationwide delivery. All we ask you to do is reimburse us the cost of getting it to you, the fuel, paying my driver and getting my driver back home. And um, we offer free airport pickup at the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport during business hours. There's a, a, a bus, the Greyhound bus terminal in Chattanooga will pick you up there. Same thing, no charge. If you rent a car to get to us, guys, we'll help you drop it off at the local rental car terminal, no charge. And um, we'll try to help you out any way we can, guys. We do have new tow dollies for sale. If you need a tow dolly, you have to, we don't sell them to the general public. They're so hard to get right now with steel cost and steel shortage that we just keep them for people who buy RVs from, from us only. So I, I don't sell them to just somebody off the street. You have to buy an RV from us to for us to sell you a tow dolly because they're too hard to get. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, give us a call, of course, before coming down to make sure this unit is available at 706-965. 7929 of course with any questions as well it's always better to call over email especially if you want a chance of buying it before it's sold um, because there is probably 10 buyers for every five used motorhomes on the market right now it's extremely competitive right now and honestly guys the way used rv prices are going it's going to cost me every penny of what i'm selling this for and my cost to replace it so the next one I get like this may be five thousand dollars higher. And I was just earlier looking through my old videos from just two or three years ago before COVID hit, guys. And my gosh, folks, I would love to be able to buy back those RVs for what I sold them for, even if they're three years older now. They're actually worth more than what I was selling them for back then. And with a fourteen billion dollar backlog with Thor, who makes this coach in a one to two year wait if you order a new thor because nobody has them in stock and they're expecting a 12 to 24 month delay on certain models of thors that price is just going to shoot up um in other words guys and to, for the foreseeable future and i'm talking next two or three years maybe longer right now they're as cheap as they're going to get they're only from this day forward they're going to do nothing but go up and you know used to be you know depreciating value now they're not but anyway guys thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it uh stay tuned for a test drive i'll see if i can get one of my guys to ride with me and do some filming and um again 706-965-7929 link in the video description below to our four page inspection process link as well to our um website so you can see what few ICs i have left that are not already sold Thank y'all again for watching and stay tuned. I'll see you from the driver's seat. All right, guys, I got one of my salespeople, Shane. He's going to uh, be the volunteer cameraman for this trip. And uh, if y'all have any questions about this uh, motorhome, guys, you can always call Shane or give him a text on his cell phone. And Shane, what's your number? Even on Sundays, 423-347-8478. To tell you everything you want to know about this coach, he can help you out any way he can. So, Let's take this thing down the road and uh, check out this little hot rod uh, motorhome right here. V10 and a 2311 foot motorhome. Huh? This thing ought to get it. Hey, we get to be first in line here. Cool.
like I said, ice cold air, generators running, roof air's on, it's still nice and quiet. Um, ought to be a good one, guys. Pretty day for a drive. A little bit of traffic out, but that's all right. And we'll take her up this hill up here. It's a pretty steep hill, so uh, between this and the entrance ramp, I, you can judge how much power it has. If we get a green light. <laughs> and the good thing about a small motor home with a big motor it's not straining its guts out all the time so it's it's actually going to use a little bit less fuel because it's not you're not having to redline it all the time just to keep up with traffic and it, you get longer engine life because obviously again it's not straining its guts out all the time so um, which 35,000 miles is nothing for one of these Here. I'm not trying to drag race this man beside me. <laughs> 40. Just to show you guys, I mean, we're going away. Going up this steep hill, I'm already at the speed limit of 55. Like I said, a little hot rod, it'll tow 5,000 pounds very easily too. Tires are smooth. Easy one-handed driver. And of course I'll try the cruise control and all that when we get on the interstate. Getting 60 on this thing shouldn't be an issue on the ramp. So. Very important, guys, when you're driving a motorhome, especially in a busy time or a busy interstate, you always want to try to accelerate as close to highway speed as possible. Getting on at uh, 65. No problem. Let's hit the cruise control. Boom, cruise control works great. Guys, this is a good motorhome. I really think it is. Drives great, smooth. See how it does when the truck passes us. That E350 chassis, guys, is, is a great chassis choice for this small motorhome. You know, used to with motorhomes, when a truck passed you like that, you were swaying all over the road, white knuckle, not anymore. Barely feel it. And for a Class C, it's, the wind noise is not bad at all for a Class C. Anyway, guys, this unit's 54.9. If it's something you think you're interested in, give us a call. And Shane, what's your number again? 423-347-8478. Yeah, he'll call, text him. He'll be happy to answer any questions and help you out. We'll see how the brakes do real quick. Make sure there's no shaking. Nice and smooth, not pulling to the left or the right any. Yeah, guys, this has been a well cared for RV, so give us a call. Uh, make sure you give, smash us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to comment, share on social media. Thank you again for watching, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.